What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG video on my channel. Today we are revisiting Espeon GX Garboder. Once upon a time this was the best deck and format together with Drampa GX but then it fell uh, off the face of the earth for some particular reason. People started to adapt and Zoroark GX got out and uh, it actually didn't see a lot of play. But now Espeon GX is back and why is that? Lucario GX is now officially legal and in the Portland regionals as you know from the title. This is the first uh, place winning deck list of Espeon GX Garboder. So that's what we're gonna play test with today because Espeon GX is actually kind of good with a choice ban will dealing 60 damage or even 120 damage on a Lucario which is awesome for a single energy also psychic deals uh, 60 damage plus 30 more for uh, the amount of energy the opponent has and uh, if Lucario has a single energy and if we use psychic with a choice ban boom it's KO'd in one shot same goes for things like Boswell if they have a lot of energies equipped we are gonna use psychic and get that one hit KO quite easily so uh, Espeon hitting for weakness against a lot of popular Pokemon the reason that it also is doing really well is because of Garbage Toxin. Garbage Toxin is still huge. Uh, with this, you lock down abilities. And with a deck like this, where you're running four choice bands and four tool cards like the Float Stone to have the free retreat on Garbage Toxin, you're running a lot of tool cards. And with tool cards, you shut down abilities. No more trade, wonder check, no more shenanigans with steam ups of Volcanion. So a lot of things are shut down uh, through uh, the Garbage Toxin. That, that is the awesome thing here. And also, of course, our old favorite from Guardians Rising, the Trash Challenge Garboder is dealing a lot of damage depending on the opponent's item, uh, items in the discard. So let's say the opponent has 10 items in the discard, they have a lot of puzzles of time in there and uh, even things like Choice Band which we are gonna get rid of thanks to Field Blower, they have 10 items in the discard. Then we deal 200 damage flat down uh, for a one prize attacker Garboder is still a huge thing. In this particular list we are gonna run a, a one drum for GX as well, uh, Righteous Edge uh, gets rid of special energies, uh, what more can I say, Big Wheel GX makes sure you always have consistency at your side with flow stones and an energy poof you can get your drumpa out and use that GX move uh, to get yourself going once again berserk also deals a bazillion amount of damage if uh, you already have damage counters on one of your bench Pokemon that way you're able to hit 150 or with a choice band 180 uh, once upon a time this was the best deck in format so uh, that's what we're gonna check out today why, why is that one the Portland regionals here also a two uh, two line of the EV or actually two two of Espeon GX because the energy evolution is awesome and also one Tauros because, uh, believe it or not, Tauros with a DCE smacks down Zoroas uh, all day long, so that is amazing. Also, weak things like Rolls, everything that has 60 HP basically goes down with the attack. Horn attack, and if they, uh, yeah, the format here where everybody is two-shotting, they uh, are gonna be surprised when Malleable GX takes a KO because we're dealing the exact same thing like Lucario GX, but then uh, for a basic Pokemon. Same attack cost, DCE. So I already mentioned the Float Stones, the uh, Choice Band, so this is a kind of consistent list with 3 Sycamore, uh, 4N and the late game with Garbage Toxin, it's amazing, the opponent will not be able to uh, top deck because they're ability lock, so uh, no more Tapu Lele, etc. So, also to Cynthia, the new Cynthia is amazing. Then for Guzma, just to get out of the active position, we only run one Bridget because Garbodor is one of those Pokemon, you don't always need to have it first turn. If you have it first turn, actually a second turn, it's amazing, but you don't always need it that quickly. You can just uh, hit yourself, uh, hit po opponents with Tauros or Drampa or even Espeon the early game uh, uh, while you just get out your Garbodors slowly for recovery super hot and that is pretty much the deck that uh, did incredibly well. I also forgot about Parallel City. Two copies of Parallel City in this list just because it's amazing uh, to counter Zoroarks to lower their damage output and it also is amazing because in an ability lock and Parallel City they cannot slap down a Lele even though if they have a they, they will have to need a field blower in order to do something so Espeon GX Garboder is what we're gonna, gonna play test with today and I am not sick anymore so we're uh, totally excited here for more content on the channel so uh, expect a lot of content on the channel this week. Today, the first uh, list winning uh, deck here, Garbodor with Espeon GX and Dropout. Actually, this is one of the, the decks I played really early on uh, in the uh, last uh, format, where uh, we had the 2017-2018 format, I guess, uh, where uh, Gardevoir won the World Championship. I actually played uh, that list, so uh, also with Tauros. I love Tauros. So we are facing Tapu Bulu here, probably with the uh, Octillery on here, so we'll have to focus ourselves on the ability lock because Vika Vault has the strong charge which we're gonna shut down in order to win this game. So what will we see here today? We have an EV start and an Espeon GX in the hand. Not the greatest thing ever, just because if an Espeon GX is prized, we are not able to use energy evolution because we have one in the hand. We could go for Ultra Volt, Tapu Lele and N. 
that way we definitely ensure that we have uh, the Espeon back in the deck but that way we uh, are not sure that we can draw into that amazing double car uh, that psychic energy that we need so we do see ram rate I already expected auxiliary to show here so maybe we can one shot this ram rate if we manage to uh, maybe top deck let's say what do we need we need a Tauros a DC and a float stone could we manage to do that? We'll have to wait and see. Also, I uh, might just uh, prompt to go for a Bridget in this situation because Bridget will help us out. He does get out his Mew. Mew could be a huge problem here, heading for weakness against our Espeon GX. Okay, we start our match. First things first, Parallel City could be an amazing way just to slow the opponent down. So that is what we're gonna do here. No Chapu Lelis for the opponent unless they, they will have to need, actually uh, waste their uh, uh, what is it? Their uh, field blower in order to get rid of that parallel city. So that is amazing. We could ultra ball and just hope for a better hand. Let's maybe give an energy onto Espeon. Hopefully we can uh, see that it is in the deck. Maybe we should have done ultra ball first. But we, lucky for us, Espeon GX is in the deck, so we can evolve straight to that. Let's see what is prized. There is a Tapu Lele prized. Okay, uh, both field blowers are in there. Two, uh, actually there were three Cynthia's in this list. Uh, let's see. Wow. I think there is a psychic energy price, uh, not too shabby, but a lot of our float stones are priced. That is definitely not cool. Three float stones priced. Could you believe that? We have to maybe attach a choice band onto our garbage too in order to shut down the abilities. We do run for Guzma, and also there, uh, we, all the choice bands are in here. So let's grab our Espeon GX. Let's see how this will turn out. And uh, what else might we possibly do? Maybe we're just gonna refresh our hand here, get rid of an Espeon GX in this situation and also a Garbodor we can use Super Rod just to uh, get everything back in the deck and we're gonna grab ourselves a Tapu Lele. Could have also uh, went for that Tauros situational thing but uh, if he gets out uh, let's say a Vika Volt he can one shot our Tauros quite easily we only have 180 HP in this situation he will need a lot of resources to uh, one shot our Espeon and he will need to attack with of course the Mew from Fates Collide okay hopefully we draw into a Trubbish would be ideal in this situation we could also go for Bridges but that way we are, are not ensuring that we have everything we possibly need I'm gonna go for a heavy Sycamore since we are gonna use the Super Rod to put everything back in the deck. Also, the choice band is something we can equip here. Let's use Super Rod, get back our Espeon and Garboder. Uh, otherwise, we just throw them away, which is not cool. And now we're just gonna use a Sycamore for a fresh hand of seven. Hopefully, there's a Trubbish in there. Nothing to work with. Okay, that is kind of crazy. We could already deal 30 damage, I, I guess, so let's do it like this hopefully the opponent ends or do, does something that uh, gives us a fresh hand although the opponents are now playing our high account of Cynthia so I don't know if they will end us but with a hand like as you can see here we have a hand of seven the opponent might just end in that regard we'd have to top deck here we are in a situation where it's like really not cool uh, if we draw an ultra ball it's cool if we draw a sycamore it's cool if we draw okay here comes Mew he has the switch and a lily for tree will he have the resources he will need a rare candy okay there's the first energy that is not cool seeing that grass energy on the Mew and he's going for a horn attack for 60 okay I can dig that I can dig that if we get a DCE we got a Lele of course if we get a DCE we can get rid of the Grubbin here and that will be an amazing strategy so in this regard we're also gonna use the field blower here also getting a, a, an item in the discard here gonna get rid of that choice band quite easily that is amazing here uh, all the rest of the cards is something we are uh, Mm, we cannot do anything with that. We could go here for a heavy Sycamore. That is something we can do. We could also one shot that Mew quite easily. So let's see how this will turn out. I need a DCE. If we have a DCE, we can one shot this uh, Remorate and of course this Grubbin, which will help in the long run. So I just want to get that DCE. So I'm going for a heavy Sycamore. I know it's terrible. I know. But that way we uh, ensure that we can draw into maybe a Trubbish. Uh, we're also gonna give choice bands to our Tapu Lele's while well, we still can, even though uh, <laughs> Flow Stones might be better, but they can also pack a punch here, those Tapu Lele's. Let's just see what we get. Hopefully, we draw into a double Carlos energy like my strategy, and my strategy works. We even have a Trubbish to work with it. So, uh, in this situation, let's just slap that DCE down. We are not having the ability lock just yet, that is only for next turn. So, the thing we are gonna do here is gonna go for the Divide GX because, in total, this will deal 70 damage to this Pokemon. And, uh, 30 damage which is enough to take two prize cards and that is amazing I'm not afraid of this Mew because he will still need two attachments and I uh, think that is the best strategy for now so divide GX 
first things first, gonna get rid of that Remoraid. Because that will take uh, a prize card for us, so uh, poof! Uh, that is a knockout, let's see, that uh, Grubbin needs to go, because uh, with Parallel City he could have not slapped down another Grubbin here. And uh, we, are, okay, he concedes already Aspion showing the might here, without his draw support and without his uh, Grubbin here, things went smoothly. So, Aspion GX, Garbodor doing a lot of shenanigans, and we're gonna play another round with it, because I want to showcase the deck even further. So in this situation, next turn we would have had that ability lock going on with Garbage Toxin, and the opponent will, will not be able to do anything, because Mew cannot attack, because it has an ability, and uh, yeah, only the Tapu Bulu would have been able to attack, and without Energy Acceleration, that deck went down easily so a uh, tapu bulu not the best matchup for my opponent against this amazing espion jacks garboder it's just a consistent list what else can i say about it it's doing quite good and uh hopefully we can face something else maybe a zoroark i want to face a zoroark it's been a while or maybe lucario okay looks like tapu bulu is hot but instead of running Octillery, they are now prompted to go with Oranguru. And we won the coin flip. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it going. We can have a second turn Defy GX. If we start with an Eevee, also a Berserk could be the case. And we start with Trubbish and a Floatstone. Could dig that, could be worse. We are already having that Floatstone equipped. So, if we get that early gone ability lock, we will be in a great situation. Hopefully, the opponent will not have their first turn Bridget otherwise. We might just uh, be surprised here if the opponent just smacks out of nowhere. A Mew with Tapu Bulu could be the case. Okay, this is again Tapu Bulu Vikavol. Looks like it's hot right now on the TCG online program, but we are sticking with our good old friend Garboder. Also, a uh, little fun fact, one of my uh, closest friends, is uh, his first deck was also the uh, Garbodor Drampa, but he did, wasn't too fond of it. He switched immediately when Zoroark got released to Zoroark uh, Decidueye. So, wow, we get even a first turn Ultra Ball, which means we can check our deck. Uh, do we get rid of a Psychic Energy? Nope, we're not. We're gonna get rid of a Choice Band. And do we get rid of the Garbage Toxin? Or do we get rid of the Espeon? We only actually need one Espeon in order to uh, get this thing going. And uh, there's another Espeon in the deck, so I wouldn't wanted to get rid of that Garbage Toxin. If one was prized, our strategy was going to fall apart like crazy. So let's see what is prized. That is always something I like to do here. There's uh, our uh, Espeon in the deck. That is awesome to see. Tauros is in here. Wow, there is. Wow, we don't need that Eevee. What am I doing? We're gonna grab that Tapu Lele. Uh, yeah, I do, I do see that there is uh, two Lele's prize. Lucky for us, we are running three Lele's. And let's see the Floatstone count. All the Floatstones are in there. That is awesome. There's a Sycamore prize. Ooh, interesting. And a Psychic Energies. Could be things that I'm uh, overlooking here, but the most important stuff is in the deck. Uh, the only Lele in the deck. We have draw support in hand, so the only logical solution is of course going for that Bridget. That first turn Bridget ensures that we can do a lot of great things here. So let's just go with the Bridget here. And we are gonna slap down an Eevee. Do we slap down a Tauros? Not really. I'm not too fond of it. So we're gonna grab another Trubbish here. And uh, maybe Drompa here. Drompa could be a nice Pokemon here to just go for those KOs because uh, Drumpa is able to deal 180 damage if we have a choice band equipped so I think we're gonna go with those straight method here let's go with this and let's go like, like the exact same method here we could go with the divide GX let's go, just give an energy to Eevee if he slaps down some more Pokemon we're gonna use the divide GX and just put damage counters so we can overcome our issue here with the Grubbin spoof here goes our Espeon we could give the Floatstone right now I think that is a great strategy, that way he's already using Field Blower here and we are gonna retreat into, of course, our Espeon. He could just bring out his Mew for some particular reason, uh, but I'm fine with this strategy here. He could also use Field Blower on, of course, the uh, Floatstone here, but that he always uses uh, one of his Field Blowers, his precious Field Blowers, and we still have all the Floatstones left in the deck, so that will be amazing to see. Ultra Ball, he does have that first turn Bridget. Hopefully all of his Grubbins are prized except for that one and uh, that way we automatically win the game So Tapu Bulu not showing too much promise here, but he just could one shot our Espeon He needs of course his own choice band. He gets rid of a rare candy and a grass energy Interesting to see because with uh, getting rid of a rare candy makes it so uh, His chances of drawing into another rare candy is slim and we are gonna end after this turn So that is great to see if that uh, rare candy got discarded and we're of course gonna see that Bridget for of course a Grubbin and Oh, 
No Bridget. Yes, Bridget is prized. And the choice band goes to Chapu Lele. Okay, we can dig that. Floatstone onto Grubbin. And we're gonna see a Cynthia instead of the usual Bridget in this type of deck. Ooh, hopefully, yeah, may, ah, dude, I was going to say hopefully he does not draw into another Grubbin. But that does not seem to be the case. Okay. What is the next logical solution? Shutting down the abilities. So uh, once we shut down the abilities, we're in a great position. We could also target that Tapu Lele, but we need energies in order to hit for a huge amount of damage. Could also give a choice band to someone, could be the case. Do we give it to someone? We only have one retreat cost, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna give it to Espeon here. And now we're gonna end. Let's see what we draw off that. Let's see. Yeah, we get the DCE, which is great. Could also slap down that Parallel Cities just to make it a little bit more interesting. And in this situation, I'm gonna make his Grubbin stuck, so we're gonna get rid of that Float Stone and also that Choice Band. Those are two items that will help in the long run with our Garbodor with the Trash Alange. Could also bench something else, even though we could draw a Tapu Lele out of our prize cards. Also, gonna just slap down that Parallel City, or do we wait? I think we're gonna wait with the Parallel City, although he could grab, he, oh, oh, he already had wasted his Bridget, so maybe we can draw it the other way around, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna get that DC equipped it. Also keep the Floatstone in hand and the Parallel City, and let's just go with the Divide GX. Okay, we're gonna put damage on this Grubbin, so it's knocked out, and we're gonna leave that active Grubbin stuck in the active position. Okay, we just have to calculate my math a little bit quickly here after I knocked out this Grubbin uh, just to see where uh, we are going to put the rest of the damage counters. This Tapu Lele has 170 HP, we deal 60 damage, 90 damage, 120 damage, 120 damage. We could just put some damage counters on Tapu Lele, so it's an easy way to KO it. But he needs another energy to attack it, so uh, the best thing is just attacking this Grubbin here because... Uh, yeah, I almost forgot to just put that uh, damage onto there. Okay, we just can knock it out, but if he evolves into that Charger Bug, we could be in some trouble here. So I'm gonna put the rest of the damage counters here because Charger Bug does have 90 HP. And if he somehow miraculously got his Rider Candy and Vika Volt, okay, we get that Lele. So lucky for us, we didn't bench anything. If he field blows away our Float Stone, we're good. So that is how it goes. He could miraculously get everything. He could have a Rare Candy, a Vika Volt, uh, two energy. Okay, that is it. That is it. We're, we don't have to be afraid too much. And uh, I think now is the perfect time to slap down our Parallel City. Float Stone. Yeah, his abilities are shut down. So just gonna slap down. He can deal. Uh, let's see. How much damage is he able to deal? He is able to deal. He needs to Float Stone away a lot of stuff. He can deal. Uh, 210, that is a little bit too much. We could just turn it around, but that way we have to discard one of our Pokemon. Or we could turn it this way around so he can only have three bench Pokemon. What shall we do? He definitely needs a Float Stone. I'm not afraid too much, so I'm just gonna say you can only have three bench Pokemon, so uh, no more Oroguru space or anything. Although we could knock out one of his Grubbins and uh, that way, eh, I think we're kinda good. This situation, I'm still gonna keep our Tapu Lily in the hand. And we're gonna give a choice band to our good friend Trubbish here because Trubbish can deal a massive amount of damage. How many items in the discard so far? One, two, three, four. That is 80. That is definitely 110 damage. So uh, hopefully we can get some more going soon. Okay, the damage calculation was kind of correct here to uh, knock out a charger bug, but it did not happen. It's kind of easy just to knock out this grub in here. And we're gonna get another prize card. It's gonna, it's gonna be this one. And we got a Guzma. Amazing. This Guzma might just be huge. In this situation, he needs, of course, his Field Blower. Field Blower is the thing he will need. And a Rare Candy. Okay, he's gonna go with Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele will slap around a bunch of damage. Tapu Lele is able to deal and we actually boost our damage output ourselves. That is 60 plus 60 is 120 is 150. That's still not enough. Maybe we should have put 20 damage on this Lele just to make it a little bit easier. But we are gonna, wow, another Grubbin here. Wow, these Grubbin are just popping out of the ground like crazy. We have a Sycamore. What do we decide? Go for a Guzma or go for a Sycamore? We could retreat, maybe go for a Trash Alange in this situation. He just got rid of two Guzmas. Ooh, interesting to see. I don't want my Aspion to just be knocked out like that. I don't think that is a great way. We could also knock out this Grubbin, so we're kind of a little bit 
and an advantage here. I want to set up my drop by at this point. So I'm gonna give Floatstone. Uh, yeah, to Tapu Lele, and we're just gonna go for a heavy Sycamore. We could also not put damage on uh, his Grubbins so uh, they don't pop up, but I just want to go for consistency in this point, and we want to set up another attacker because our Espeon is almost knocked out. I don't like to see that. So we get an Ultra Ball, so we could go for something else here and go for a Trash Challenge. We have one, two, three, four, as mentioned. That is maybe the better strategy, and uh, unless we just decide to go for Psychic, but Psychic will only be able to deal 150, which is not enough, unfortunately. Okay, at this point, we are gonna go for an Ultra Ball. We are gonna get rid of a Psychic Energy and another Ultra Ball. We have another Grubbin ready, so uh, not too afraid here. Let's grab the awesome Trash Launcher in the house. And this Trash Launcher, although we could also give an Energy to Trump. I am uh, in a situation where I am not too sure about what to pick here. Although a one prize attacker is always the best method here. So we're just gonna retreat. Retreat unto Garbage Toxin. Uh, we have a DCE in the hand. So in this situation, I want to get rid of the DCE. Yeah, because that way we can still attack with Psybeam if it uh, is necessary here. We got rid of a Guzma here if I uh, remember correctly. And at this point, I think we're kind of good, we're just giving uh, Psychic Energy onto Garboder and Garboder will get that huge Trash Challenge off with of course that 110 damage which was to be expected which means he only has 60 HP remaining amazing for our Lele to knock out his Lele the only thing we have to make sure here is that we can knock out this Tapu Bulu uh, we only need to get two more KOs here so uh, two GXs need to be KO'd he could Guzma out our Espeon here let's see what he does okay that is his choice ban do we still have a field lower left yeah, we still have a field lower left, that is amazing. Okay, he could target also Trompa here. He could target a lot of things. Oh, here goes the Heavy Ball. Ooh, we are gonna see Fika Volt, but do we see a field lower from the opponent? We do have a bunch of tool cards equipped already, so two Float Stones, two Choice Bands, and the discard already contains one Choice Band, so we don't have a lot of resources left, so if he decides to go for, uh, of course, the... Uh, okay, there's, there's just an Energy Drive. This is gonna be in the bag like this. Okay, we have a Cynthia. We could give a DCE to someone. Trampa could be one of our Pokemon just to come out of nowhere. I don't think they will be in running Enhanced Hammer. So we're just gonna set up our Trampa just to get that KO here. We still have one choice band left in the deck. These things will not matter too much. And we could just thin out our deck here. Let's thin out. Let's get rid of uh, Parallel City and a DCE. I know we're getting rid of a DCE. Is it bad? Is it good? I don't even care at this point. We're gonna set up ourselves another Garbodor with Garbage Toxin. We still have Guzma and a Floatstone, so we have two of our Garbage Toxins in town. Although we could have also went for another Garbodor with the Trash Challenge because he now has a bazillion amount of items. But I'm just gonna prompt our uh, Drumpa here for the last KO. Let's go with this. Hopefully we draw the necessary components. I do think there was a choice band prize. Could be wrong though, so let's see. This prize card, and this one. It is gonna be Tapu Lele and an energy, so at least we can uh, do a lot of stuff here. We have Espeon at our disposal. He still needs to take six more prize cards, so I kind of good. I want to have that ability lock going on uh, before I just want to set up one of our, our trash challenges because the ability lock is a little bit more important. And I was afraid that he might just uh, target some of our Pokemon here. Although a Trash Lancer would have been amazing. Let's see how many items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six items. Six items. That's 120. We still would have not uh, one shot at this Pokemon. So he's going to use Nature Judgment. Is he going to get rid of his energies? That is the most popular question. Or actually the main question we have to ask ourselves here. And looks like he's keeping the energies. Which means we can one shot it with Espeon in my book. So where uh, he has 30, 60, 90... 90, that is uh, 120, and uh, with 60, that is enough. So uh, we're just gonna give a DCE onto our uh, Espeon here. And uh, we're gonna keep that Floatstone in the hand just for the sake of it. I think we're, we don't need to do anything anymore. We just retreat and just win the game here, I guess. So Espeon showing the might here, of course, with the powerful Psychic Blast. Bam! And that's how Tapu Bulu gets obliterated by Espeon Garboder. I uh, was hoping to face Zoroark or Lucario or Boswell because those Pokemon are kind of good for us. We have a lot of ends. We shut down their abilities. We uh, one-shot things like Lucario and Boswell on a daily basis, chillaxing. So 
definitely check out Espion Garboder. It's still back. It's a it's one of the Portland regionals. What more can I say? And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show your support by destroying the like button. You know I always appreciate that. And I will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG content. So be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. See you guys then. Peace out.